How did uh, it work out last week? The uh, I like to go with Randy as the kicker. Uh, we just thought it was best for the team. Um, you know, you get a veteran guy, quick turnaround. He's done it before. You know, it makes it real easy. You know, um, he's done a good job. Both of them done a good job since they've been here. And uh, but we just went with Randy because it was just the best for us at that time. Was it based on circumstances last week? Like, could we see something different this week? Or? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it, it was a quick turnaround. Like, as soon as you know, that's late in the week. You want to, you know, you want to make sure a guy feels comfortable. Uh, just all the different mechanics and all the different nuances between the two different kickers. You know, just being able to uh, get that ironed out as quick as you can. You know, you get a quick little session on Friday. He just kicked in a workout on Thursday. You get pregame, you know, on, on Sunday, and, and now you got to play. So th th we didn't have a lot of uh, time to, you know, mull over who's going to do what. You got to make a decision. Do you have a decision on who your kicker is this week, or are you doing like a tryout again like you kind of did last yeah, year? Yeah, they're just both working, you know. And uh, we'll, we'll see where we're at at the end of the week. How do you decide? It's because it's such like a binary thing. You make the kicks, you're missing kicks. Right? Is it mm -hmm. literally who kicks makes more kicks in practice? Yeah, it's it's a it's a rhythm thing, you know. Uh, you know, who we feel the most comfortable with, who we think is the most comfortable, and uh, you know, just go from there. How much do you kick field goals in practice? Like, how many opportunities uh, do you even get? We kick on our own, like we we do a lot of stuff on our own. So like, but with the team, it's only like six to eight reps. So it's not a lot with the team, but it's more so of what we do, you know, when we're by ourselves. What does that entail? Just kick. Yeah, it's basically doing the whole the whole operation just without the team. And I think back a couple of years ago when you had Rosas here, you really it seemed like you really enjoyed watching a young <laughs> kicker kind of develop mm -hmm. and become you know, what he did in his best season mm -hmm. here. Do you <clears throat> do you look at Cade as not in a direct similar situation, but a chance to, to see a young guy who's talented and, and try to you know, develop him into a kicker that you can, you know, look in this league? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's why he's here. You know, just to, you know, he's here for us right now. And, uh, you know, we've got to try and make the best out of his situation and try and get him better you know, for the time that he's here. And, uh, but, you know, he's very talented. You're right. I mean, he has, he has a very strong leg. He's very talented. He's done some really good things in his career. And, and that's why he's here. Like we've identified that. So, but no, his, his whole goal is to work to get better every day. And, you know, we got to make sure that we're doing those little things that to help him get better every day. That's it. What were the issues that he had to fix based on? Obviously it didn't go on Cleveland. I, you know, it, there's there's a a few things that I can pinpoint. You know, I, I think he was trying to do some some different things with his swing. You know, Cleveland's a little different. You know, it's it's, a, it's probably the hardest stadium to kick in uh, in the league between there and Pittsburgh. Uh, but he was trying to make some adjustments with the uh, hey, always like problems. Trying to make some adjustments, so you know it's just working through that, you know. And, and and again, Cleveland is different, and it's just you know, our place is not too far off of it, but it, it was just different. So those are things he was just trying to do. You look at it mechanical, then more than mental. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he was just trying to, you know, it's so windy in Cleveland. You're trying, you know, you hit a different kind of ball because if your ball gets high, the wind's just going to take it. So when you try and drive the ball, you know, it's your plant's a little different. You know, it's, it's just a bunch of different me mechanical things that you try to do to adjust to the win. And, uh, you know, it was just something that he was working through. So can mechanical screw with the mental? Eventually? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you, you know, you want to have success. You know, anything, anytime something mechanically goes wrong and your ball is not going on the flight that you want to go on, you don't feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, you doubt yourself, and all you know, all those different things come into mind, you know. So, well, when do you make that decision? Is it after practice Friday? Is it uh, what's, what's the timing of it? You know, we'll, who knows? You know, we're just gonna just let it let it play out, and uh, let those guys get their work in, and you know, whenever we make the decision, we make the decision. But they'll both be ready. What makes uh, Paris Campbell a good kick returner? He is big, strong, and fast. Uh, you know, you go back and you look at Parrish when he was in college, 
at Ohio State, you know, I think I want to say he's over 27, almost 28 yards of kickoff return. So he's very explosive. Uh, you know, he runs in the four threes. He's a strong runner. You know, he was one of those hybrid guys coming out of uh, out of Ohio State in the line of Percy Harvin and Chris Rainey and, you know, all of those guys that were at Florida under that Urban Meyer system, you know, Curtis Samuel, those, those style of guys, you know, so he's very, very strong and he does a good, and he runs tough. So, no, that's what makes him, makes him good. Does that you always, does that you would get a little juice from how he's kind of carried the ball oh, and, and returned? Absolutely, him? absolutely. Uh, you know, I think, you know, you can, you can see what he's done since he's been in there. And uh, I think I think we, we've uh, we've done a better job of blocking for him, uh, but he's he brings some definite juice. Obviously, you know, best case scenario, like to score on special teams every week. 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 Um, when you when you face a game like this, where obviously you know, you got a, you got a, a, a young rookie quarterback going, I mean obviously. Got a, you're facing a pretty explosive offense. Mm -hmm. um, is there a little extra pressure or anything else to dial up to try to, to try to score on, on special teams? Is you know, that you, one of your paths to victory, to so so to speak. For me, that's something that you know. Every week, we want to have a, a goal of doing that. Yeah. You know, and that, and that is a goal. We always want to be able to affect the game in a positive way, especially by either scoring points as a field goal unit or being able to score as a return unit or a coverage unit, however we can, you know, we can affect the game positively. You always want to do that. Uh, you know, as far as the pressure to, no, I mean, you don't feel pressure to do it, but you you want to do it. You know what I mean? Like that, that doesn't bother me. It just meant maybe it meant urgency. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you, you, all, you always want to do, especially in our situation, like we're two and seven. Like we're trying to do something to help us win the game. and. The more the week, more we can do as a special teams unit to be able to possibly score, it's going to help us win. So I think that's something that we're always striving to to achieve. But you know, I've, obviously now we we want to you know it's even more essential urgency, not just by us, but, but by the defense and you know everybody else because of where we are. Thomas, do you have to remind these guys that Dallas blocked a field goal last game, and or do they know it? And no, I mean obviously, I mean it's, it's the first play of the game, first score of the game, and uh, you know you don't have to remind them of that. Um, but obviously we did, and uh, but no, I mean it's 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 one of those deals. It's a play that happened. You got to learn from it and move on from it and be better because of it.